Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video from my channel Interactive Education running for the best education possible from the student to the student and today we will be wrapping up the chapter circles with the last theorem in this chapter and that is tangents from an external point to a circle are equal. So basically what this basically means is that if there is a point in the external of a circle in the exterior of a circle and from that point you are drawing two tangents to the circle right like so as you can see in this figure then the length of those two tangents and length basically means the distance between that starting point to the point of contact okay length means the distance between starting point and the point of contact so the length of those two tangents will be equal so for that, first of all, you'll draw the figure. This is the figure. Here we have a circle with center O. And then we have an external point P from which we are drawing two tangents to the circle PQ and PR. Now, what do we need to basically prove? So our to prove will be to prove. We need to prove that PQ length is equal to PR length. Right? That's what we need to prove because the length of the tangent is equal. Right? So for that, first of all, we will need to do some construction, right? So what is our construction going to be? Our construction is going to be, first of all, we need to join some things. So join OQ, OR, and OP. So we're going to join OQ, OR, and OP. So let's do that. We join OQ, we join OR, and we join O P. So we join these three lines, line segments, right? So we're joining O P, O Q, and O R. We did that. Now we need to start off with the proof. So proof. Now in the proof, we will be considering congruence here. So we are going to use the concept of congruence to show this to prove this so let's have a look at some two triangles in triangle p o q and p o r so we're taking two triangles triangle p o q and triangle p o r this triangle and this triangle this one and this one so these two triangles in triangle p o q and p o r can we say that o q has to be equal to r Obviously, because they both are radii. They both are radii of the same circle. Obviously, they need to be equal. So, we can mark it here as well. These two will be equal. Next thing we can show. Can we say that angle OQR is going to be equal to angle O... Sorry, not OQR. Angle OQP is going to be equal to angle ORP equal to 90 degrees? Yes? Because radius is perpendicular to the tangent, as we learned in the last theorem, right? Radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So here we can say that these two will be 90 degrees, right? So OQP equal to ORP equal to 90 degrees. And the last thing is, can we say that, can we say that OP equal to OP? Obviously, because it's a common side. So, we can mark this as a common side. Right? So, this one side is equal. There is a 90 degree and the hypotenuse of both the triangles is equal because it's common. Right? Because both are right angle triangles and the hypotenuses are equal. That is common and one side is equal. So, we can say that triangle POQ is congruent to triangle POR by RHS congruence. By RHS congruence, which we learned last year, by RHS congruence, both are going to be congruent, right? Both triangles will be congruent. And as a result of this, by the concept of CPCT, and CPCT stands for Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles 
right? And this is a rule that corresponding parts of congruent triangles will also always be equal. So by CPCT, we can say that PQ is going to be equal to PR, right? And that is the proof. This is going to be equal to this. Clear? I hope this is absolutely clear, easy theorem to understand, right? No problems at all, right? So that is how we prove that the length of tangents from an external point to the circle are equal. The statement of this theorem is important. The proof of this theorem is important, right? So I hope you're clear with this theorem as well. If there's any kind of doubt, please post it in the comment section below. And with this, we are concluded with all the concepts present in this chapter. I hope you understood everything. And when, we, when I'll make a video on questions for circles, you'll find some questions as well. So thank you very much for joining me. Goodbye. I hope you understood this chapter. Very simple and important chapter. Thank you very much. Stay healthy, stay smart, and do keep studying. Just press the like button and subscribe. Thank you.